inspirational Roman devotion with the message titled Gifts of Speaking in Tongues. The baptism of the Holy Spirit is always accompanied by certain signs, and usually it is the gift of speaking in tongues. Does usually mean that everyone receives or can receive this gift? Let us read what Apostle Paul had to say. It was Paul's heart's desire. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14, Paul begins with a plea in favor of the gift of prophecy. In compute costly and without imposing, he mentions the gift of speaking in tongues and thereby does a great service to the readers of the New Testament. In verse 5, Paul mentions, Now I want you all to speak in tongues, but even more to prophesy. With this statement, it clarifies that it is just as desirable to speak in tongues as it is to prophesy. How do I start to speak in unknown tongues? Ask, and it will be given to you. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. And earnestly desire the spiritual gifts. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 1. How does one receive the gift of speaking in tongues? By asking, by asking continuous prayer and asking with the laying on of hands. It is helpful to realize when praying that what you are asking for is essential and good. When the Spirit of God gives you words, simply speak them out loud. For some people, they may just start out with a few words or sounds. For every gift can begin small and we develop as you use it over time. The important thing is that you begin to speak and do not copy anyone. You are the one who operates this gift. It is a matter of your will. According to my knowledge, this is the only spiritual gift given by God that we can use when we decide to. In, do in doing so, in so doing, I believe again and again that this gift is available to me. By using the gifts in this way, my trust in the Lord grows. My faith grows by knowing that He gives me new gifts every time. I will pray with my spirit, but I will pray with my mind also. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 15. Notice that Paul says, I will. And in verse 18, he adds on that he prays more in tongues than anyone else. If you already received this gift, but have neglected it for some reason, I invite you to rekindle it anew again. Commit to God again and say, I will. So with this, I've come to the end of today's inspirational Rema devotion with the message titled, Gifts of Speaking in Tongues.